Apple Watch not updating, I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do to troubleshoot that issue. Let the download begin. So if you're new here and you wanna learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you know when we release some helpful content. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is to address how to troubleshoot your Apple Watch if it's not updating and you're not on any kind of beta on Watch OS or iOS. After that, I'm gonna show you exactly how to update your Apple Watch if you are on a beta on your phone or on the watch itself. Okay, so before you start updating anything, there's a couple of things you definitely should check. One of the first things you should check is to make sure that your iOS on your phone is as updated as possible. And you also wanna to check to make sure that the Apple Watch is connected to the charger and is at least 50% charged. So it needs some power in order for it to fully update. You wanna make sure your phone is connected to Wi-Fi and you wanna make sure both devices are close to each other. That way it can help each other communicate and update faster. And you also wanna keep in mind that the update itself can take a long time depending on how large the update is. So it's probably best to do this overnight so that way you're not using the devices and they're still in close range and you give them the time they need to fully update properly. Now if the watch itself just isn't updating the way it should, one of the first things you wanna try is to restart both devices. So you wanna restart the Apple Watch first by holding the side button on the watch until that power off option appears. You slide that power off option and you let the watch power off and let it sit for a couple of seconds. Then you also want to make sure you restart your iOS device. So you want to restart your iPhone as well. In the same fashion, you want to hold the buttons down until that power off option appears on screen. Once the power off option appears on screen, you slide it to power off. And again, to suggest that leaving both devices powered off, maybe for about five or 10 seconds. So just count up to 10 and then power them back on, let them reboot, and then we can try the update once more to see if it goes through. So now after the reboot, if both devices are up and running and it's still not updating the way it should, one of the quickest things you can do is go into your iPhone, go into the Apple Watch companion app, you're gonna go into general and then usage and then software update and you wanna delete the update file that's there. Now once the update file is deleted, then you wanna try another restart of your iPhone and why not just restart the Apple Watch for good measure? Once it boots back up, then try the update again and that should fix any issues you have with your Apple Watch updating completely. Now if you're running a beta on either the Apple Watch or the iPhone, there's two things you wanna bear in mind when you're going to update those devices on a beta. First is that normally betas don't have the ability to connect to other devices. So if you're trying to update while you're on a beta and you unpair your Apple Watch or you unpair your iPhone, you're gonna run into some issues. You definitely don't wanna do that. You always want to make sure you delete the beta profile before you attempt any kind of updates when running a beta on iOS or a beta on Watch OS. And to remove the beta profile from the Apple Watch, you're gonna open the Apple Watch companion app and then you're gonna go into the general and then profile setting, and you're gonna delete that beta profile that's stored in the Apple Watch companion app, and then you wanna reboot your Apple Watch. And if your iPhone is on beta as well, you wanna go into the general settings of the iPhone, you're gonna go into profile and device management, and you're gonna delete the beta profile that's in there as well. And deleting both profiles, always make sure you reboot the device. After devices are restarted, then you can attempt to update your watch OS, and you should get the ability to update without issue. Now, after the update, is completed, you can always go back in and install the beta profiles once more. You just wanted to uninstall them so you can update after the update is completed, reinstall the beta profiles, and you'll be all set and good to go. Now, if you're having any kind of issues or problem trying to troubleshoot a device on your Apple Watch or your iPhone, go ahead and share those questions in the comment section below this video. I'll be more than happy to respond to any questions that you may have. This video is about some iPhone settings that you probably want to disable immediately, and this is something that YouTube thinks you would enjoy watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. And until next time, peace.